Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness of the Monty. My channel is a little over three years in, and I accidentally got my first violation, I believe. And it was in that first ice fishing clip, and I've already sent a email to the email address for Region 2 California Fish and Wildlife, and I self-reported it. And it was using those shiners that I found in that brown trout. I never use bait fish. I know the special regulation charts inside and out. I know all of that stuff inside and out. When I found that shiner coming out of the brown's mouth, I thought I recalled seeing that I could use shiners as long as I got them in the lake where I was fishing. Unfortunately, the guide says that that is restricted to, man, it's starting to snow. <laughs> that is restricted to Lake Tahoe, Donner Lake, and Fallen Leaf Lake. Said nothing about Boca Reservoir. So I self-reported, you know, I could have just taken that clip down, but man, I always talk about regulations and I want people to be on the right side of the law and how I wish there were more game wardens and I want game wardens to check me. So if I just took that clip down, I would have just been a weasel. You know, that would have just been a weasel, weak move. And I'm not going to do that. And uh, I have too many followers that are loyal to my channel. So I'm going to try to live up to the words that I say and the things I recommend and the regulations I talk about. I'm hoping for leniency. I'm hoping for a warning or a light fine or something because I obviously can't afford a lot of big fines. <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know I barely scrape by with this. But it is what it is, and I did it. And I wanted to do this clip so that people that watch that video, if they have a similar experience, which I've never had that happen, so I don't know how common it is for brown trout to be coughing up shiners. But I just, I wanted to make sure people knew why the clip is gone. And I want you guys to know that I did self-report. And I'm still waiting to hear back from Fish and Wildlife. You know, the one game warden's probably got a stack of cases. So my one I'm an idiot email is probably under a bunch. So I'm assuming they'll get to it eventually. I gave him my email address, my home address for mailing, my phone number, and my full name, and told him I had just got the non-resident fishing license on the first. That clip's down, don't worry. I got this clip for Davis today, where I did some ice fishing, and I put up a clip on Wilderness of the Money Patreon, fishing Boca, where I tried several things, got some nice fishing in, and I'm going to be fishing uh, this next week. It looks like it's going to be clear. So we're going to try some other stuff. So I hope a lot of you guys don't feel like you're let down. You know, I make mistakes. I just, I haven't used shiners like that since I could buy them at Wild Sports in the 90s in Sacramento. And I used them in Folsom Lake. That's the last time I used bait fish. That's why I never look at that closely at the regulations. I skimmed through the whole thing, but obviously I didn't skim the hard enough. So there's going to be a lot more ice fishing. Don't worry. Those of you that saw the clip, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Until next time.